Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Plains. Well, today's the first day since August 2nd that, uh, that my household is back to normal. And uh, I wanted to go fly today, and it was just uh, too windy. So I'm going to go to my night flying spot and fly my uh, UMX Turbo Timber. If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. Then I remembered that the last time I flew it, I messed up the propeller. As you can see, it's uh, seen better days. But I don't have another three-bladed prop. What I do have is, ta-da, a bunch of cheap props from Amazon that are probably for drones or something, or I think like 20 of these, or it may have even been something crazy, like 30 of them for two or three dollars. And they come with the prop adapters where you can adapt them to all kinds of different stuff. So let me show you how I build one of these. You can hear Brutus in the background. Let me show you how I build one, and let's put it on the uh, on the old UMX right here and go fly it. So, first things first. Let me get my uh, airplane stand here. All right. One cool thing about the UMX plane lineup is that they come with a workbench right here, just like. So, now you got a cool way to work on it. Let's, um, let me get a prop and, and a adapter out and we'll build one together. There we go. So, these are five by three props. The prop that comes on this thing is in millimeters. It says 120 by 70. And 120 by 70 is roughly like four and three quarters of an inch by oh two and three quarters of an inch something like that so so a four and three quarters by two and three quarters three bl uh, bladed prop and then a slightly bigger two bladed prop no problems you could probably actually go a little bit longer on this prop to equal the two versus the three bladed you know so if your motor's strong enough to spend to spin a three-bladed propeller, you know, this big, then it can definitely spin a two-bladed prop, you know, the same width. So a little bit longer is no no problem at all. I've on my other UMX, I fly these little tiny props all the time. I only have the you know the one that came with it for the first time. I, I don't buy a five dollar replacement prop when you can spend five bucks and get you know a whole bag of them. So, anyways, we got a prop. And then we'll need the prop adapter. And I know which one it is. Right there. So let's uh let's put the two together. Alright guys, so I've selected uh what little adapter I'm gonna use. I made sure that it fit onto the onto the motor all right and then grab your propeller and make sure that the adapter goes in the prop all right and then i'm going to take some thin ca which is just super glue really thin and i'm just going to put one drop down in here don't we don't want to get where it slides onto the prop adapter but we want to go where we're connecting the orange and the black on the inside okay just get one little tiny drop down in there and i'm going to roll it around here a little bit because that bead or drop of glue is a little bit bigger than than I thought it was and then there it is 
let's let it uh, let's let it dry for a good minute or so and then we will put it on the plane all right now that it's built we'll just put it on a little small Phillips screwdriver takes the old old prop off Get it there we go and then you don't want to just yank on it because things are delicate inside so take the battery compartment off and I'll hold the motor and then I'll just kind of twist it back and forth until it slides off like that and then the way it's going to go on this adapter is kind of recessed in there and it's going to go where the screw goes down in the recessed part. So you might have to do it like that. We'll just we'll, we'll barely get it started there a little bit. And get your butt on there. There we go. I'm, I'm holding the motor as I'm tightening it. Make sure it's just like so. So I say we go fly this thing. So the next video will be uh, of the UMX Timber at my night flying area. So until next time, you'll see me here. Thank you guys. Alrighty. Awesome little transport port case. That guy. Then we got that guy. And a little transmitter. And I use an older DX6i. Get some batteries loaded up here. So it, it helped if I put uh, charged batteries in it. So we're golden. Good to go. All right, let's go fly.